Hey, this is Kendra White behind the scenes with American Family Studios, and I am live in Israel at the Bible Society here with Victor. And Victor just showed me some amazing resources. Now, did you all produce all three of these? Yes. These okay. Are made Can here. you tell us about these because these are some really sure, interesting finds. Sure. Sure. Uh, this is something very special, mm. Kendra, because this devotional, my brother Skipper, was mm. written by local believers in Israel that comes from different backgrounds. Wow. So you have Messianic Jews, you have Arab Israeli Christians, mm. and you have Palestinian Christians mm. that all contributed to that. And each and every devotional actually represents the unity that we have through our faith in Christ. Mm. So it is not political, right? but it shows that in spite of all the challenges that we have in spite of all the things that try to separate between us there is something much bigger that yes. brings us together <laughs> and that's the message of that book and each devotional it's kind of uh, a living experience mm. of a person that shared it so i think it's beautiful yes. there's always these peace treaties <clears throat> and talks and they say, oh, peace can never be achieved. Well, in Christ, we have peace, don't that we? That is true. <laughs> and that's and, the message and I of this think book. that's a way to celebrate it and <laughs> to awesome. testify that. That's fantastic. Well, tell me about this one. Okay, that is also something uh, special. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, one of our challenges is mm -hmm. to uh, share the faith uh, in Christ, in Messiah, in Yeshua, as mm -hmm. Jews. Because one of the things that they would ask us, how come that you as a Jew believe in Jesus. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, that's, they say that's the Christian faith. Is that's Christianity. From Judaism. Yeah, from Judaism. And actually, we say that faith in Messiah is fulfillment mm. of, uh, of the Bible, of, awesome. of biblical Judaism. You know, <laughs> and, and you I use the Old Testament. The, definitely. There, the scriptures definitely. they're familiar it all with. points to the New Testament. Wow. It's all points to the New Covenant. Wow. Okay. So, this uh, booklet actually gives a gospel presentation mm. from a Jewish biblical. Uh, perspective oh, or background awesome. <laughs> because even Moses spoke of spoke of a new covenant yes <laughs> covenant of the heart even David was speaking mm. about an everlasting king mm. that will come so mm. they all point to the Messiah and in this book we give this gospel presentation from a Jewish perspective mm. biblical Jewish perspective but then we have a list of or a table of 60 uh, prophecies, messianic prophecies that Christ fulfilled. That we, yes, that are fulfilled, wow. that are prophesied in the Old Testament and are fulfilled wow. in the New Testament with some explanation. Wow! And it's much as possible, as much as possible, mm. we did it in a chronological mm. order, so um, you can really see. I'm and reading by the that. way, <laughs> and by the way, many of the prophecies mm. here are actually answering mm. questions or challenges, mm. or even I would say obstacles that Jews have with mm. the Christian faith. Mm. Like, for example, that the Messiah is God. Another one is that uh, he came and he gave himself out of his own will. You mm. know, something very sensitive for Jews with the Christian faith right. is that they feel that they are blamed for killing God. They are mm. God killers. That's the history of the church right. in a way. That's a shame. So, and that's kind of uh, uh, rejects them. Right. from, you know, uh, uh, going into Christianity and Not feeling it accepted, yeah, but accused. Exactly. exactly. So mm -hmm. actually, we, we show that, yeah, we did as a people rejected mm -hmm. him, but the first believers were Jews. The right. first <laughs> church were Jews. The disciples Jesus were Jews. Jesus was a Jew. <laughs> Jesus was a Jew. And, uh, and many did accept him. Mm -hmm. And what he says, that he says in John 10, you know, no one took my life from me, but I give it of mm -hmm. my own. And we want to share this message with them. That's okay? fantastic. Like, and the fulfillment, for example, or the, the prophecy for that, mm -hmm. for example, is the story of Joseph, mm -hmm. right? Joseph, you know, he was kind of hidden to his brothers when he reveals himself to them, and they are afraid. Right, they don't want to right? say anything. They are afraid. He actually tells them, don't be afraid. It's not you who threw me to the pit. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did throw him to the pit, but he says, from his perspective, from a biblical perspective, mm -hmm. it's like, that's not it the point. It's God's will that I'd be here, right? That's <laughs> not, yeah, the point is that God sent me before you mm -hmm. to preserve life. That's amazing. And that's the same message. Well, this is this like just one example. The, the yeah. issue of the complex unity of God, what is called the Trinity. Trinity. Throws okay? people off. That's another it's hard for something Christians to understand. Hard to any human <laughs> being, you yes. know? But it is an obstacle for the Jews because mm -hmm. they say, well, it's we one brought, God, right? One. <laughs> right. We brought monotheism to the world. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of truth in it. So they feel kind of jealous to the faith in, in one God. Mm -hmm. And if you believe in another one, then you're an idol worshiper. Mm. So how come that Yeshua is God also? Right. But the, the Old Testament is full mm. with message that says that it is actually the Messiah is actually God. Mm. He's called Yahweh in some places right. and he is actually he has the characteristics and the sovereignty and mm. all the characters of God. And know? his name is plural, right? And his name is Elohim, it's plural Elohim. as well, right? So 
So we bring all of that in this booklet. Awesome. So it's good to share the gospel and explain it to Jews, but it is an excellent tool to every believer oh, anywhere from any background. I'm taking it home to, with me. Uh, <laughs> to, to study the roots of our faith and get stronger right. in our faith, right? Well, all those prophecies yeah. about the Messiah, that's um, difficult for Christians to understand that have been in the faith a long and time. And it's beautiful. So Each prophecy is a study by itself. That's really, awesome. It's something that it's, it's beautiful. I'm definitely bringing that one home. Okay, one more. Can you tell us about this and resource? Yes, and kids, you know, they're always <laughs> in our hearts. And uh, this is a beautiful uh, mm -hmm. book that we produced in order to teach young children, small mm -hmm. kids, about the characteristics of God mm -hmm. uh, through animals in the nature. You know, That's it is awesome. hard for a kid. How do you explain to a kid that we become a new creature? Mm -hmm. I mean, how can you explain right. it? But, you know, dragonflies go through a physical change, transformation, transformation oh. and become a new creature. Like a butterfly? In a way, right. Oh, okay. So you can teach a kid mm -hmm. through that, mm -hmm. right? And, how and they you, love nature, and it's... Yes, and learning. how do you explain to a kid that, you know, God carries us throughout all our life? Like, why do we need God when we are grown-ups, right? Mm. Through a kangaroo, you can... The pouch. The pouch, <laughs> you, you know, for example. Mm. So there are many ways through nature, and actually the Word of God tells us that everything that was created points to God. So it's a beautiful... And the Bible Society book. wrote this. It, yes, wow. it was done at the Bible Society. Did you have a part Everything. in this picture? Um, yes, actually, you did? actually, actually, uh, my mother-in-law, she did all the rhymes. Oh, wow. Uh, the text was written originally by one of our workers. Mm. She did the, the, the text. And then we rhymed it beautifully and we mm -hmm. kind of very, um, with a lot of thought, mm -hmm. really, and prayer. Uh, we, we define the spiritual message in mm. each one of these rhymes. So it's That's beautiful. Awesome. It has a spiritual message uh, to touch their tender hearts. So it's a lesson. If you're a children's it, pastor, it you might want it, to buy it, it definitely this. Definitely so. You I'm work not kidding. I'm not BBS. Kidding. I'm not kidding. And then there is another section here. It's called um, Facts, Figures, and Questions. Mm. And you know, kids, thank God, they are very curious. They have lots and of they love to th they <laughs> love animals and they mm. love to know about facts in nature. Mm. So it this has some facts in nature about each of the anim animals and then a thought provoking spiritual question. Mm. Like one of them here is how does a person become a new creature? Right? Uh, awesome. why do we need God to carry us when we're grown ups? And so on and so mm. forth. So it is a really a, 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 a beautiful book for kids and also a kind of a family engagement and so on. Well, if anyone wants to purchase any of these or yes. if they want to contribute to your work in the Bible Society, yeah. how can they do that? Okay, so let's <laughs> talk about contribution first. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, no, because we really want to bless uh, kids and touch their hearts here in Israel and, and elsewhere with this book. Uh, already some thousands of kids in Russia, in Ukraine, in, in orphanages, and uh, deprived kids were blessed by this book that wow. was translated into Russian and sent there. Wow. But we also want to give it here to people, that uh, families, to kids from needy families, and also to other kids, and bless them with this beautiful uh, uh, book. We were able to give to single mothers, families, for example, mm -hmm. and, and other opportunities. But yes, if you can donate to that, we will give it to uh, more kids and to... Um, also to donate and also in order to order it, if you want to order it for yourselves, then you can log online to www.biblesocietyinisrael.com. Biblesocietyinisrael.com. Bible dot com. Dot com. Okay. That's right. Biblesocietyinisrael.com. And then you will find uh, information about uh, us as a ministry. You can learn more of what we do mm -hmm. and you can also donate and you can also purchase uh, these materials and other materials. Thousands of lives are being changed through this ministry, and we know that the Word of God, when it goes out, it does not return void. It changes and lives. you, how many, how many Bibles do you give away on average in a year? Um, we give every year 150 New Testament Bibles and portions of Bibles. 150. Okay? 150,000. Thousand. So there the, it is. <laughs> the main majority are New Testaments. Wow. And then thousands of Bibles as well. Wow. So. And it is done through people like you that <laughs> are watching, that uh, it touches their heart, that has a desire to share the Word of God here in Israel and actually beyond even. You know, we also uh, do outreach mm -hmm. amongst uh, migrants, refugees. So actually it is going to <laughs> Yeah, thank God. To well, other thank you so much for your time. We hope you guys follow more information from our documentary team that is in Israel. And we enjoyed meeting you today, Victor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kendra. God bless you.